Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is Prashant from Bird Pandit and this is the 60 days to catch series. Uh, today I'm taking up a very simple question. How should you approach critical reasoning for CAT 2020 VRC prep? Should you cover it? Should you not cover it? Should you skip it? What is the kind of preparation you should do? Uh, you've got to keep in mind that critical reasoning has not been directly a part of CAT for a very long time. There have been no CR critical reasoning questions as such in CAT for a very long time. The three exams where it's prominent is A number one GMAT. It's a GMAT question type, very, very popular on the GMAT. One third of the exam is based on CR. Uh, uh, then NMAT and uh, ZAT have CR questions. Uh, NMAT has it in the LR section, the logical reasoning section, right? Now, when I say critical reasoning, I am not talking about paragraph summary. I'm not talking about paragraphs, misfit sentence. They are all part of verbal reasoning or ability. Critical reasoning, I'm specifically referring to argument based questions where you identify assumptions, strength and weaken, paradox, flaw in reasoning, parallel reasoning, these kinds of questions. Now, these questions are very, very specific in nature, right? And should you be preparing for these? Uh, CR did appear in CAT, but a long time back. It has not made an appearance for a very, very long time. And uh, this video is from the perspective of CAT here, right? Now, you want to keep one thing in mind is that critical reasoning in itself is a very interesting topic, right? So if you ask me personally, it's one of the most interesting topics and I find it uh, super interesting to teach and super interesting to learn new things in CR. There is always something new to learn in this topic, right? It's super interesting and it's super logical as well. There is defined logic in critical reasoning. How do you solve problems? And it teaches you something which is very, very important, which is the art of argumentation. You learn to identify in critical reasoning what are facts, what are conclusions, what are assumptions, right? And how these three add up to create an argument, right? How do authors build arguments? So you learn the art of argument. You learn cause and effect relationships, what leads to what and all those things. So that way is critical reasoning has an impact on your understanding, right? But that is it. Since it's not a direct question type in CAT, right? It's direct correlation with CAT is zero. But ZAT and NMAT have these uh, CR questions. You should keep this in mind, right? While preparing for it. And the thing that you got to keep in mind is you've got to give weightage to this indirect correlation. As I talked in the previous slide, it helps you with argumentation, right? It helps you with developing arguments. It helps you with developing reasoning and logic skills, right? And that's what you should be looking forward to from this particular topic. Now, since you should be studying this topic, but in a limited quantity, what is it that you should be doing? How should you approach it? You maintain a balanced approach. You cover the basic concepts for CR at this stage. Don't invest a lot of time, right? Um, these are part of the Word Pandit course. You can also go and uh, search for CR concepts. You'll get a lot of concepts online available as well. Uh, you practice roughly 50 questions before CAT, so you get a basic hang of it and you are ready for the topic, right? Uh, you should never say never with any topic. And secondly, it will help you understand how to approach reasoning. Uh, there is a small element of reasoning, uh, such reasoning, which is employed in RC questions as well. So at times you get critical reasoning based RC questions. Hence, do solve around 50 odd questions for critical reasoning so that you are ready for it, right? Now, if you're taking NMAT, you solve a few more questions. I think around 150 to 200 questions in total should be good enough. And in December, you should practice at least 100 questions for the topic for that specifically. So if you keep an CAT only in mind, 50 questions should suffice for that and NMAT keeping in mind around 200 questions in total, you should be targeting for the topic, right? And the basic concepts for CR. This is what you have to do. This is your a uh, total set of work or allotted work that you have to complete for critical reasoning. I'm just reiterating it again. For CAT, you only study critical reasoning from the perspective of developing your understanding, your logical skills, developing your argumentation for NMAT and that this has practical correlation with the exam itself. So you keep this in mind, right? So that's all I wanted to communicate to you for today. Thank you very much for watching this video and happy learning.